welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and today we're going to be doing this Sherlock's puzzle. Similarly to Tuesday's video where I tried the first Sherlock's puzzle. This one is also 500 pieces. I actually realized that this is not the title. I thought wildlife was actually the title of this puzzle, but it is actually right here. And it says this one was actually called Feline Reflections. So this one is called Castle in the Mountains, not Art Gallery. <laughs> anyway, I think this is just gonna be the category then. So it's 500 pieces, Art Gallery style, and the title once again is Castle in the Mountains, which makes sense because it's a castle in the mountains. It's a beautiful picture and I'm super excited to do it. I think this is one of the prettiest puzzles that I had on this channel. I don't usually like doing landscapes, but I think I'm gonna be very happy doing this one. Like I mentioned previously, the reason I got this puzzle is because I also got this one. They're the same brand and everything I look at looks the same to me. So I guess when we open it, we'll see if it's just the box that's different or if there's a difference in the puzzles. The two difficulties are also exactly the same. Let's get to puzzling. For this puzzle, I sorted out castle, trees, sky, mountain, and edge pieces. I missed a piece on the edge for now, and I couldn't find it quickly in the box. Once I completed the sky and the mountains, I took out the castle pieces. Found the missing edge piece. Now, I took out the tree pile and completed the rest of the puzzle.
It's so beautiful that I don't want to take this puzzle apart, honestly. With further inspection, I think that both of the puzzles are exactly the same, obviously except the picture and the boxes. I think the boxes might be different because of the pictures. This previous puzzle was not that detailed, so it was kind of easy to see it even on the smaller photo. This one has a lot more detail, so I think it might be that they wanted the photo to be bigger. Because if, if you look at the photos, this one's definitely a lot bigger, since the box is bigger. Even the back photo that it has is bigger. So I think it's just for visual purposes, because they don't come with a poster. If it's not obvious, I like this picture better than the previous one. Although I actually remember finding that one really fun as well. This puzzle cost me $10. I'm not sure where you could get this puzzle if you don't live near a Save On Foods. But if you do have a Save On Foods near you or you have some other way to get this brand, it's definitely good for the price. Since I live in Canada, everything is Canadian dollars, but this puzzle was 10 Canadian dollars. And a lot of the other puzzles that I have that are from different brands are typically in the 20 to 30 range. So this, this is definitely on the more affordable side. It's definitely my favorite out of all the affordable brands that I have tried. I think it's because the puzzle has all of the elements that I like about more expensive puzzles, like a beautiful photo and the colors are very vibrant, which actually I've noticed on this puzzle, the photo wasn't as vibrant on the camera as it is in person. With the colors and the thickness is typical of any other puzzle, as well as I like that it's not like some of the cheaper brands where it's only vertical and horizontal shapes like I mentioned in the previous one. It's definitely more fun to not only have these types of pieces. Also, it doesn't hold as well as like a Ravensburger puzzle, but it still holds pretty well. You can pick it up if you're careful and it doesn't fall apart, so that's good. Like I said, overall, already one of my favorite brands even though it's not that popular and it's on the affordable side. In the comments below, let me know what is your favorite puzzle brand that not everyone knows about. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.